Good afternoon. So today, um, I just had this weird conversation on Saturday about Dishonored with a friend of mine, and it goes back to something, I guess, how I originally f first experienced um, Dishonored. Turn it down a little. And I originally played Dishonored Um, on console and I didn't really care for it and uh, oh. that's not good And uh, honestly, I didn't like it. I didn't care for it. I didn't care for the game mechanics. I didn't care for the way that it played. Um, it just felt really clunky. I didn't feel like I could get the things that I wanted, you know, from the game. I wasn't able to move the way that I wanted to. I don't know. It was just honestly, it was very frustrating. So I put the game down. And I think this, at this time, this we were playing on uh, Xbox 360 was the console generation we were on. So I went on to play other things and uh, you know um, lo and behold in 2016 at the end of 2016 in December I had some spare time and I was like you know just bumming around on Steam like we all do and we have nothing better to do and so I ended up buying Dishonored on um, oh Bone Charm I ended up buying Dishonored on a Steam sale. Went on to play it. Fell in love, and I am so glad that I did. What an amazing game. Um, two is on my list of things to play. It's one of the things that I do really kind of love about uh, kind of, I guess, being behind a little bit. Is that uh, it tends to be more cost effective. So as my pointless ramblings continue on, and I continue to talk about try to talk while I'm playing this game, which I don't necessarily know if that's going to, you know, actually even doable, to be quite frank. I seem to be struggling quite a bit with this. And I was incredibly happy with the game. But the game was a lot different on PC, to be quite frank. And I'm not one of those elitist PC gamers that everything's better on PC and people that use consoles are Neanderthals. Because they're not. I use a console. I've owned every single Xbox console. <coughs> um, absolutely love. Absolutely love. Uh, Xbox. Love playing on Xbox consoles. There's a lot of great things about um, it. So the couple of things, honestly, that I felt made it better on console were something that I'm doing right now, and that is trying to kill somebody. Um, this was such a better experience and I'm doing such a really bad job at it right now which is just so sad um, um, killing enemies on console was just so difficult and it always felt like such a bad time like, I never, never, ever, ever could have done that on a console. I did not know that was there. So, there's just killing, like, to be quite frank. What are the other issues that I had? Um, well, to be quite frank, the graphics are so much better. Oh, my word, they're so much better. I don't even think it's a comparison. Ew, rats. So... The graphics, I'm sorry. The graphics are so vastly superior in this game, I'm sorry, on PC than they are anywhere close to console. And I can say that because I've gone back and played uh, this game on the console, and it just doesn't even remotely measure up. What's the third thing? What was the third thing that I really, really stood out to me? Oh, that's what that is, yeah. Just, just the way that the game is played. 
honestly. And maybe this is all in my head, but I really don't feel that it is. I feel like I move around this game totally differently on the PC than I do on a console. And it has to do with the mouse and the keyboard, to be quite frank. I don't think that's necessarily a limitation of, you know, it being the upcoming areas are riddled with pathways that allow many approaches to accomplish your mission. Look for overhead ledges, rat tunnels, water passages, and other hiding places. <gasps> Ooh. Why is a guard and a hooker coming out of the same room? That seems very suspicious. Wonder what they were doing in there. There's so many things that. Yeah, they have no respect for anybody, I hear ya. So. Ooh, weepers everywhere. Time to go, guys. Oh, yeah, we're ready to go back. There's zombies, Samuel. Can we let's get going, please? Seriously, some people have no common sense. Hostiles killed 43. Civilians killed 12. Dead or unconscious bodies found 9. Overall chaos. Current total is high. Five runes, three bone... Didn't find any of the shrines. Three paintings. Half the gold. Eh, I'll call it a good. Thank you for stopping by this afternoon and watching my pointless rant in the game that came out so very, very long ago. But the conversation I had this weekend just really struck me as poignant because it's not something that I've really ever thought about. You know, video games are something that, like, you prefer to play them on console or you prefer to play them on PC, and I'm not an elitist about it. I mean, I do think that I'll, that some things are just better on a PC um, just because of the accuracy of, you know, this. It's just so much more accurate, and the keyboard allows for so many more options. But then, you know, there's also a certain amount of, I think, comfort that goes into it. So the ability to sit down in a sofa and just, like, relax and, like, in that setting with your friends, I think it's important, too. So I just found it interesting that my experience with this game when I played it on console was so very, very different to the experience that I had when I played on PC. And then I went back and I played it on console, and I had that very similar experience. Even after having a full understanding of the game, the mechanics, how the game was played, there's still something that got lost in translation, I feel like, when you go from the PC to the console, where you just, you just miss it. So... Now that little Emily's back safe and she's about ready to be kidnapped by the next big villain and her daddy's going to come save her, I should let you go and focus on the important things in life. Until next time. <laughs>